Holy shit. Oh, it's Sunday morning, people. Time to get ready to go to work. Are you ready to work? I know I'm ready for a fucking coffee. Holy shit. <sighs> so just fed the dog and cat. Now I'm about to get myself some coffee. Mmm. Nice some good coffee. Decided to start rendering up some Skaven Games videos. We've got a lot to deploy. Might do that tonight when I get home. I don't know. We'll see. Probably should look into how much I have and how much I need to send out. Alrighty guys, well I gotta head off to work. I got nothing really going. Oh, here we go. Oh, I got the shits going on today, that's for sure. But, uh, nothing really going on today. So, I'm just gonna go to work. Oh, fuck, I forgot my keys upstairs. I'm just gonna go to work and then leave the camera at home. Not gonna do a drive to work video today because there's nothing really going on. So, I'll just pick it back up tonight when I get off work. See how I feel and see what we do. But, um, today is probably gonna be a very uneventful day. Uneventful. I can't even fucking speak. Ugh. Well, it's gonna be eventful, all right? Eventful as I stumble around my job site. All right, guys. I'll talk to you after 10. Oh, we made it. We're home. Holy fuck, what are you? You gotta poop? Go poop. Fucking around. Don't poop on the driveway. Get in the yard. Get in the yard. That's right. Fucking know your rule. Know who's the master around here? This fucking guy. Yeah, it was a busy night of work tonight, but you know what? Fuck, it's over. I'm home. It's 12, it's 12.30? Nope. It's 10.30 or something like that. And I've had the worst fucking gas all day today. Like, ugh, like really bad gas. Let me let Stupid back in here. And get him off his leash if he can just fucking sit still for half a second. He won't. I gotta put the camera down. He just always acts like he has stuff to do. I don't know. Oh, gross. Oh, I think I need to go sit on the turlet. Bray right back. Look at her face. Scampers, look at your face. Look at your face. Scampers, look at me. Look at your face. Anywho, I need to put my dart on a charger. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do tonight. Got a couple hours before I gotta go to bed. I should check to make sure my script's running. Well, that'd probably be a good idea. I know I still gotta get some Grand Theft Auto videos edited up too. Uh, I'm gonna start playing around with that. One second. Alrighty, people. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm head out to the garage and see if I can rip that fucking tire off the car. Or off the car? No. Off the snow blower. Um, I applied a bunch of penetrating oil the other day, as you guys saw. And I never really did anything with it since then. That was on Friday. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna head back out there and see what we can do to maybe fix it. So if I get the tire off, then I can take a look at those sleeves and get an idea as to why the fuck or how to take those sleeves off. If anybody in the audience ever worked on one of these fucking snowblowers, let me know in the comments below because uh, honestly, I don't have the foggiest on what I'm doing. So I'm gonna bring a beer out with me. A little bit of confidence booster. Not really, but just something to drink. And let's get into the garage and fuck around with the blower. So as you can now see, all the oil is clearly out of the machine. Yep. Put my beer down here. And this is the stubborn tire. Now, as you can see back here, it looks like they fucking welded the tire right to the axle. But that's not the case because of yonder. So, uh, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I got my ball peen hammer there. Um, I need a nice chunk of 2 by 4 so that I can beat it. I shouldn't have thrown out all that wood from the, <laughs> from the renovations. Now I can just see the people in the audience. I fucking told you you shouldn't have thrown it all out at him, you dummy! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway. So I got nowhere to hook a puller onto this so I can pull the tire off. And there's no, no real reason for it to be on there. Except for the fact that there's... Where's the other tire? Where's the other tire? Where did I put that? Oh, it's over here. The fuck is this one look like on the back side? Oh, it's got a little panache too. Okay, so, I'm, I'm stupid. Basically the tire... Is actually sitting inside of the sleeve. So, does that come right out? Ew, gross, I got poop in my hand again. 
Okay, let me get something to beat it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of it with a fucking hammer and a piece of wood. Okay, so this is my solution. I got this piece of wood here that I'm gonna press up against the tire. And beat the fucking shit out of it. Or maybe peg it in on top here and crack it on the top up here. Doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, it is moving. Oh, we're working. We're working, people. Okay. Nice if I had a shorter piece of wood. Something not so fucking ridiculously big. Ugh. Just holes on myself. Old trusted. I want to get this project done so I can get this thing out of the fucking way and start working on something else. This piece of wood is fucking stupid. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have to modify this piece of wood because it's, it's fucking sword like tip on it is acting up. So, let me get around all the junk and stuff. Get my saw. Rip the end off of it. There we go. Now I got a nice flat end to pound it on. So hopefully that doesn't jump around as much. It's moving a little bit, but not a lot. <sighs> Fucking rusted on pieces of shit, eh? Yeah. That's fucking on there. What I need is an air impact or something. Something that I can just fucking bah! I need a puller. Maybe. Fuck, I don't know what I need. I just need the whole shaft to come out. Because then I can probably use my jack to rip the fucking tire off of this thing. But the problem is, is the shaft has these like, fucking pressed on sleeve things that don't release. And I need those gone. Hmm. How the fuck can I take those sleeves off? Because they're physically attached to the, the shaft and they don't spin. So even if I do take the tire off, I'm still stuck with this fucking shaft. Which is why I'm tempted just to say fuck it and put the hex shaft in and reuse this axle. Instead of trying to take this axle out. Which might end up be what, it, what I do. Because so far, I'm failing big time. What I'm talking about is this piece of black here and this piece of black here. I don't see anywhere on here to loosen it up. Normally you would have like a hole with like a, a screw or something, right? But I'm not seeing that. So, we could probably push that back in. 
I might just reuse this part of the uh, thing because uh, honestly I doubt this uh, let me grab, I don't feel like getting too much oil on my hands I highly doubt that's not moving that's not moving that doesn't go anywhere so I could probably build the other shaft slap it in there and be done put the tire back on, fire this fucker up and take her for a rep. So I had to build the bottom shaft. They got everything prioritized here. So you need 6, 17, 13, 2, 13. Holy shit, 2, 13s? Cool. Fuck, I wish I had room to work. I would have had a bench cleared off. Or if I could get to my fucking bench. Oh, farted it again. Jesus Murphy. Alrighty, let me sort out the parts I need for this shaft. And uh, we'll get her all assembled and put in the guy. Alrighty, well I basically got all the parts over here that I need, I think. I'm just going to put the extra parts off to the side. Grab a swig of beer. <clears throat> oh yeah. And, okay. So, basically from what I'm gathering, this doesn't hook up the same way the old one did. It did. Because the old one had a clip on one side and a clip on the other. This one here, bolt on one side. Hence the threaded guy, and clip on the other, hence the slotted guy. So, judging by what I'm seeing here, it goes bearing, which should be blah, blah, bearing. <coughs> okay. And then I have a clip, but you don't put that on yet. This goes, is that right? Like yonder. Oh no, that goes underneath. Oh, okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. So, these bearings here slide into the actual blower. Now, from what I'm seeing here, this plate here goes on first. It doesn't really show you the orientation, so if I hold it like that, it looks like friction disc goes this way on here, like so. But then you need a clip over here. Do we need anything else in front of the friction disc? No, just a clip. So you grab one of these big daddy cool clips here, and that gets pressed on there, just like so. And that keeps this from going all the way over. And we do the same on the other side. Put another clip in. So grab another big daddy cool clip. Just fucking cramp her on there, like a boss. And now, that's all you got. Okay, making progress. Then we need this little gear here that clips on here, sits like so. And then there is a washer. This guy sits on like so. And then there's this free spinning gear that goes on, holes facing this way. What the fuck would you have? Oh, there we go. That goes on like so. And it's brass. And then you put another bearing onto it. Or a bearing, um... Really, there's no clip on that side? It totally looks like there's a spot for a clip. And then this pops into the bearing, and then you bolt her on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And that's basically all she wrote. Simple. Easy. Nice. And then you put uh, your washer on the end, which is there. Your bearing goes on the end like so. And you fucking batten down the hatch with this. Done. Doesn't get any easier than that, apparently. So, now the next step is to install this fucker into the machine. So let's do that. Now, of course, the camera angles are going to suck a big, fat, hard one. Mainly because, uh, they just do. But, I'm going to put that bearing up here for now. And, what the fuck did you get hooked onto? Get out of the way. <coughs> going to just feed it all in there right now. Um, where's the fucking handle? Uh. 
Okay, and that doesn't mesh up at all. This is not the right part for this fucking blower. Ugh, this is not the right part for this blower. Something's not right here. Um, maybe I got this fucking thing on the back on wrong. How is it on the other one? Luckily I have the old one to reference. That's exactly how it is. Exactly how I had it. Like that. Sorry that you can't see what I'm doing right now. But, uh... So I should go on there, like that, and then that should go boom shakalaka. I'll get it around that thing. And that should go on there, but that won't work because the shaft is not set up properly. Oh well, fuck. Let me show you what's going on. So as you can see, there's plenty of shaft space over here, but it's not going all the way through because this is not the right kit for this blower. So, looks like I'm going back to fucking Hamlin's, for fuck's sakes. After looking it over, it looks edge to edge like it is the right part. Like, comparing there, you know, you see it, right part, right part. And if this one had all the pieces on it, like the gear that goes here, and the clip and all that shit, it would be the right part. The only difference is, is oh Jesus fuck, don't fall off, you son of a whore. The only difference is, this would be so much easier if I can get to my fucking bench, is that they're the same length. Everything's the same length. So why in the fuck... Is it not going in? What did I do up here? Because this shit can move around. I'm fucking stupid! Something else I just noticed is, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you see that divot? I think there was a keyway there. Probably for this gear here. Here's the other axle. It's got the keyway right there. I really need to figure out how to take this fucking axle out of this rig. I, I, I need to. I need to figure out what to do. Like, she's got to go. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's got to come out. And beating the tire is not working. Because even if I do get the tire out, how the fuck do I get these sleeves off? They don't exactly spin freely. Like, I'm, I'm spinning the axle by the sleeve. So, I don't have the fucking foggiest on what the hell's going on here. So, short of... Finding the keyway, figuring out how to install it, and reusing this old shaft versus cutting the shaft in half with my uh, grinder and ripping the cocksucker the fuck out of there and putting the new shaft in, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing because I don't think these this manual explains how to extract the old shaft. Hmm. So it says there's E-ring retainers, but I'm pretty sure we took those out because this thing's moving freely. This here little knobby guy. So, if I grab my needle nose here, because I don't feel like getting too greasy tonight, and grab this fucking thing. Okay, well, that's moving on its own. What about this fucking thing? Huh? Oh, find another camera, noob. Yeah, I don't know. So short of just grabbing my fucking die angle grinder, putting down something underneath to capture all the metal fragments, and just and then ripping the axle out in half, throwing it in the garbage, I have no fucking idea how to get that axle off. Because once I get the axle off, hey, not a problem. I can take this tire, put it in the vise, leave it so that the rim is touching the vise and nothing else is, and then pound from the center down with a punch, punch that fucking axle clean out of there. 
problem solved. Problem is, is getting that fucking axle out of there. She don't want to let go. And it's all because of these stupid fucking sleeves. So, I did lose a keyway. That's problem number one, probably from pounding on the tire. Chances are I'd probably find it in here somewhere, if I looked hard enough. I'm not looking hard enough. Oh, this thing's been the bane of me. All the friggin' work I had to put into it to get it to work this winter, eh? Like, fuck. We had to, what did we have to do this winter? We had to do the friction disc, which turns out it wasn't the friction disc. We had to do the spring. Couldn't get the spring. Finally got the spring, then blew the throttle cable. Finally got the new throttle cable, and then the whole fucking driveline shits the bed. So after I repair this, what next? The fucking front end auger's gonna die? I shouldn't say that, because it died on the other one. I should just fucking scrap this thing already and buy a brand new blower and be done with it, because... It's just nothing but a fucking headache, but I don't know. I can't fire up the grinder right now. It's midnight. My neighbor's kids are sleeping. I live in the city. Banging on the tire was loud enough. I probably woke up everybody around me. I'm going to get shit tomorrow probably from people. So that's about going to sum it up for today because I don't think there's anything else I can do at this time. And working this job, being up, you know, starting that fucking early and then coming home at late, it doesn't really help out during the day much. I guess I could get up at a decent hour, but fuck that. I wonder if I can spray this down with some... See, if I had a torch, I could uh, torch the shit out of this thing and then uh, fucking be done with it. Just torch the uh, sleeves and see if they come off after that. Or torch it and spray it with the penetrating fluid and then see if they come off after that. And if not, then shit's fucked. So, fuck it. I'm done with this for tonight. Uh, it's too late to be doing anything else. As for uh, all the oil, that's why I bought that extra jug of oil. When she's all good to go, I'll sit her upright, let her fucking whatever's left in oil settle, and drip back down into the belly pan, and then I'll stock her back up, and then we'll fire it up. So, right now I need to figure out what the fuck to do with this axle, and cutting it in half seems like the best plan. I think that might happen, people. So... Anyway, we do got the right parts. We just got a fucked up blower. So it is what it is. So I'm shutting her down here, people. So on that note, uh, thanks for watching my video today. If you have any more input on this thing, by all means, leave it in the comments below. Um, like I said, the axle will not come out because of these stupid fucking sleeves that are corroded right to the shaft because somebody in China thought it was a good idea. So because of that, it's fucked. If anybody has any ideas on how to take those off, let me know in the comments below. I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.